Pitbull Cruz versus Jose Valenzuela. Who's going to win this fight? Well, before we talk about who's going to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Pitbull Cruz fought Giovanni Carbera, in which Pitbull Cruz took control of the whole entire fight, completely outlanded Giovanni Carbera, and he ended up taking it by decision. After this, Pitbull Cruz went out to fight Rolly Romero, in which Pitbull Cruz rocked Rolly Romero in round one. Cruz, Cruz looking to drop Romero here in the first round. Pitbull Cruz then rocked him again in round seven. Seconds of the seventh round, can Romero survive? Pitbull Cruz then put more punishment on Rolly Romero and was the rest of up and stopped the fight in round eight. Again, launches the right oh, hand, left it. hook, Romero takes the shot, still standing. Now let's take a look at Jose Valenzuela's latest performances in which he fought Chris Colbert in which Jose got robbed in this fight. Jose dropped Chris in round one. Uses, relies on his speed. Oh, and down, a huge left. Left. Jose took control of the whole entire fight, lands some great combinations, but they still somehow gave it to Chris Colbert. Chris, prime time! That is, Jose wanted to fight Chris Colbert once again, in which Jose put a lot of punishment on Chris, and Chris got a standing aid in round one. Looking to do more than that here in the first round! Jose then landed some great shots and knocked out Chris in round six. Colbert should be 0-2 at 135. Now this fight is going to be the best fight on the court next to Terence Crawford and Israel Majumov simply because we know we're going to get a crazy fight because we know what Pitbull Cruz has to offer. So now it's up to Jose Valenzuela to show that he has what it takes to be better than Pitbull Cruz. If not, he better wear his running shoes because him running is going to be the best chance he has to avoid getting knocked out. But anyways, now let's talk about how this fight's going to go. Well, if anybody realistically thinks that Jose Valenzuela stands a chance at beating Pitbull Cruz, well then they must be a lover for underdogs because be realistic, out of all the fights that Pitbull Cruz has had and out of all the people he has been able to knock out, why would he all of a sudden fail to knock out Jose Valenzuela? It makes no sense what does jose valenzuela have that would allow him to survive in this fight let alone stand in front of pitbull cruz and put up a fight pitbull cruz has faced the best fighters heavy hitters and different type of styles so realistically it's an easy fight for pitbull cruz so the way i see this fight playing now is that pitbull cruz might not be on the front foot 24 7 and he might not be aggressive 24 7 he might just be having his guard up waiting to time a perfect shot and again i see jose valenzuela being helpless because like i said he has nothing to offer in this fight the best thing he could do is run throughout the whole entire fight he better not think about standing in front of pitbull cruz and actually sitting down on punches hoping to gain respect from Pitbull Cruz because that would just cause him to get into a firefight which will not end in his favor. So in the end, my prediction for this fight is that Pitbull Cruz is going to easily embarrass Jose Valenzuela. I would be surprised if the same thing that happened in the Giovanni Cabrera fight happens in this fight and that is that Pitbull Cruz was landing some hard shots on Giovanni Cabrera but Giovanni Cabrera was just eating those shots and he didn't even go down and the fight ended up going to the judges. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Jose Valenzuela is going to go down and Pitbull Cruz will finish Jose Valenzuela.